So let us say in this session how to characterize the insertion code in the tag deviation and stand. In the last session, we learned how to calculate the start of the median stand and stand. Now let us see how to calculate the first we have a set of methods and it takes a deviation and then for 20 moments and we will be like this standard. And for standard deviation, formula is this. Standard deviation S is equal to square root of sigma minus divided by n. This one, this is the formula we use to calculate standard deviation. It is a summation of difference between mean and division. Let me take this way. Then the end of number of set, the number of values minus one. So if it is small number of values, we can take just one. Or if large number of values are there, we will stop it, we take n minus one. Therefore, generally we use the formula sigma s is equal to square root of sigma x minus x bar square root of d minus one. So this is the difference between the individual value and mean. R median, then we divide by the square and divide by n minus 1, then take this. So this is the formula used to calculate standard deviation. Now, let us take the problem. Calculate deviation from the there is means from which we have to take the image, but from the R median. During the analysis of chlorine, calculate the deviation from the mean during the analysis of chlorine, which means the following data. So they have done three trials, one, two, three. Three trials they have done in the situation. Then the percentage of chlorine, what we got, is 24.39. These are all the values they have in three trades. Now, deviation. Deviation. To take the deviation first, you take the mean. Mean is equal to sum of these three divided by three. It gives 72.94. To take 24.39 plus 24.19 plus 24.36, it is 72.94 divided by 3, that gives 24.3. So this is me and that deviation. So how much deviation? It is 0 0.08. 0 0.08. Here it is 0 0.12 and here 0 0.2. Just I have done the magnitude. The sign indicates whether this is plus, this is more than this. Actually, this is the magnitude value is more than our mean value. So here we have to take whether it is minus or plus, when you take the suit, it becomes positive only. Therefore, Thank you. Just yes, have the mean deviation. You can make it into R cast. Here it is less than this one, and this is more than this one. In both cases, measured values different more than the average R B, and one value is less than the So this was the part. So deviation is this one. We can again take the average deviation. So we will divide average deviation. Which is equal to sum of this. 
So in case of relative deviation, you take uh, this one, zero point, sorry, sorry, yes. zero point zero, and zero. So relative deviation, relative deviation is equal to this one our end. Divided by E twenty four point relative deviation is equal to the deviation. So since there are three values, I take an average deviation. The average deviation divided by E into hundred. That gives point three four. That is the error predicted in terms of pass. Now let us see another problem. That is the one that is prepared and to calculate the mineral prepared how much the inside mineral prepared means inside the external. But during the calibration, it may have found a little bit different. So for that we have to calibrate. Average deviation is equal to add 
all the values, it comes around that 0 0.091 divided by length. It is 0 0.0. The value, how much? So, like that, we calculate the deviation. Then, relative deviation is equal to the average deviation 0 0.0064 divided by V 9.983. So that's how we have to do the calculation for deviation. Now next, let us say how to get the standard deviation. Last important term is standard deviation. So how to calculate standard deviation? Calculate
then standard deviates that is equal to C A Buddha C one X A minus so it is equal to square root of this guy. Sum of all two P seven point eight into ten to the power minus six plus thirteen into ten to the power minus six plus eighty eight point four into ten to the power minus six plus point four into ten to the power minus six plus five point eight and uh, added all the five values, it will be five minutes. Five minutes. Thus comes around 165.4. You take the common factor, 24 minutes six outside, then add all these values, it comes 165.4. This is around zero point zero. So we write the assumptions. Either it may be lower or positive amplitude, or on either side we will take plus or minus. Whether it is the standard equation we represent, either plus, whether it may be the equation is positive or negative, the square becomes positive. Hence, the standard equation we represent plus or minus. So if you take the average is the prepared value of volume is 9.9 plus or minus 0.1. If you write like that, it's half. Then and then, prepared, so it will be 9.9, either it will be 9.8 or 0 0.9 difference in either plus side or minus. That's what we write. This is standard deviation with all this represented in terms of plus or minus that shows on both sides deviation. Last problem, we will do an interesting session. Can you get the standard deviation for the set of values? Can you get set of values? 20 20.2, 20.3, 20.1. 19.1, 20.5, and 19.5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 values. So this is then mean is equal to, first we have to calculate to take the sum of uh, 6 values and it is 1 for 1.2 comes around 20 points. Twenty point one seven is the mean. So now difference between which we do it comes zero point seven minus x bar. This is point point three. This is zero point zero seven. Point two seven, point three three, and four. To take the next step, we have to put the point two one seven minus the point three five. This to take the next step. The next step, let's see the next step. Let's go. We need to see the next step. It comes along with the other point two three five. Zero point two. Then point five two nine. This is point zero one six nine point zero seven two nine point one zero eight nine and point one two six. This is excellent as well. Then it is sum sigma of excellent is equal in terms of Point three nine four three. Now five. Standard deviation. 
is equal to square root of sigma x minus x bar whole square divided by minus one. So this is we have done. So therefore, this is equal to square root of point three nine four divided by six values. N equals six. Six minus one is five. This comes out. That's the standard deviation from the actual value. So if the value can deviate either it has to side or it has to side by point two plus this is standard deviation. Thank you very much for listening to this session.